Hi everyone, welcome to my academic lecture series. And today we are going to talk about the resource curse hypothesis. For a long time till the 1990s, there was an assumption that resource abundance and increasing resource extraction is related to greater economic growth of any country. However, in the 1990s, economists found that the greater dependence on natural resource extraction is not related with positive economic growth. On the contrary, they showed that resource abundance and increasing resource extraction is related with lower or even negative economic growth in the poor or developing countries. In simple terms, the resource curse means that having abundant natural resources can become a curse for the countries. There are various reasons behind this paradoxical relationship. Economists offered various reasons like the declining terms of trade for the primary commodities, the presence of volatility in the global market for natural resources, and, most importantly, the appropriation of rents by the elites and corrupted officials. Moreover, there is another argument that the Dutch disease effect also caused the resource curse. The Dutch disease happens when the growth in the extraction industry downplays the development in other exporting and productive sectors of an economy by attracting workers from those sectors to the extraction industry. It also happens when the growth in the extraction industry increases the value of local currency against foreign currencies which harms the growth of exporting sectors of any country. The notion of this resource curse has garnered significant attention among both researchers and policymakers in recent decades. Due to this theory, now there is an awareness that the poor or developing countries which are rich in natural resources may fall victim to lower economic growth and development. However, recent empirical findings present a mixed result regarding the resource curse argument and suggest that there is no clear conclusion regarding the relationship between the abundance of natural resources and economic development. There are some recent literature that argues that it is not the abundance of resources, but rather some other factors like institutional quality and governance that can affect whether the resource abundance brings positive or negative development outcomes. Now, if we also look into the evidence from empirical studies on the Global South, we see mixed findings. A significant number of empirical studies find that many natural resource-rich countries in the Global South have performed poorly in terms of transferring the abundance of natural resource towards desirable economic development. Example includes countries like Angola, Niger, Zambia, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Congo, Venezuela, Nigeria, and Ecuador. In these countries, research shows that the abundance of natural resources may have incentivized economic and political actors to follow rent-seeking behaviors and have deteriorated institutional quality and promoted corruption in some cases. Moreover, the abundance of natural resources have also caused armed conflicts, civil wars, and other forms of political unrest in some countries, which further hindered the development process. In this instance, political unrest in Venezuela and Ecuador, fights between rivaling groups over natural resources in Angola and Nigeria, and pervasive corruption and deterioration of institutional quality in Nigeria have been widely discussed in different literature. On the other side of the coin, countries like South Africa, Botswana, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Mexico and some other Gulf countries have prospered fairly well in terms of development outcomes even though they are resource rich. So in their cases, the natural resources have become a blessing for them rather than a curse. If we consider institutional quality while measuring the effect of natural resource abundance on economic development, we can then explain this positive growth effect of natural resources. It has also been evident by research that the Dutch disease effect does not always hold true to all the countries because in some countries the manufacturing industries can grow along with the extractive industries. As a result, a considerable number of recent literature explains the causes of the resource curse in some countries 
by introducing issues like institutional quality, governance, corruption, and ethnic fractionalization in addition to the natural resource endowments and has moved away from a deterministic connection between resource abundance and economic development. So, as there is economic development in some resource-rich countries of the Global South, can we reject or refine the resource scarce debate? Well, the abundance of natural resources has historically been beneficial in the development of countries like the USA, Great Britain, Germany, Norway, Australia, and many others in the Western Europe. These countries apparently made the best use of natural resources during 19th and 20th century in economic development process, though the natural resources alone were not sufficient for economic development, of course. On the other hand, the contentions between the rising resource extraction and lower economic growth in the Global South have been studied only recently, especially in the late 20th century. In the beginning, the resource curse hypothesis apparently dealt with the role of resource abundance on the development path of some countries in the Global South while ignoring the question of why the resource-rich countries in the Global South show diverse levels of development outcomes. However, there have been recent revisions to the hypothesis as most recent literature focuses on showing why most resource-rich countries in the Global South fail to utilize their resources for economic development while only few of them become successful. Therefore, by adding new and relevant perspectives to the conventional resource scarce hypothesis, Contemporary literature has undermined the deterministic approach of the hypothesis and has proved that there is no direct connection of having abundant natural resource and lower economic growth.